Hey there, you're a little closer now so you can see my left hand a little bit better. So we're talking about Song of the Wind here at Loxley String mm -hmm. Studios today. And I wanted to show you a specific exercise that I use in Song of the Wind that I think helps your left hand to sort of stay coordinated. Okay? And I'm talking about measure number three, which is really the challenging measure in Song of the Wind. Other than that, it's really just a D major half of a scale up and down. But measure number three requires you... to quickly move your second, third, and fourth finger over to the D string, then over to the A string without smearing them, so to speak, across both strings. You really want to pick up and then pick up again. Okay? So, in fast, you know, in real time... practice first as a beginner is measure number th three very slowly. And it, the way that I like to go about it is by putting a quarter note in between each note, okay? And then practicing the movement slowly while checking for ringing tones. Notice ringing tones is something that we talk about a lot, especially early on. So we start with our first finger. This is measure three, just slowed down quite a bit with rests put in between the notes. We start, we have a first finger, then two, three, and four go over to the D string, ringing tone, two, three, and four come back to the A string so all our fingers are together again, string crossing, ringing tone, then two, three, and four are up, okay, so in time, I want to play one, rest, rest, rest. Increase the speed of that exercise. Still with the rests and. Still with rest but faster. Until you're ready to slowly play without rests. Rest. But the motions in the proper finger positions stay intact. Rest will be eventually what you work your way towards. That's sort of the exercise in Song of the Wind. Thanks.